Hi everyone, I'm Tiffany Young. I'm here at CES and I'm here with Joe of Synaptech. Yes. And uh, we just did a demo. I'm a little bit sweaty here. Um, it's a very interesting uh, technology that you have here. Can you explain a little bit for the people at home? Absolutely. So Synaptic is all about sensory performance. If you think about the brain, a large portion of the brain is processing sensory information. And so to make a brain healthy, perhaps an, an athlete, an elite athlete, or someone who've had a de degraded brain like a stroke or, or concussion, you have to work on the senses. And so our system will diagnose sensory performance, tell you where you're strong and where you're weak, and then we give you software and wearable devices to get you better. So what kind of things are happening in the brain? I mean, I, at first I was trying to grab that ball and you were dropping it, and then I put these glasses on. What was happening to my brain that was, because it was kind of, the vision was kind of weird, and then all of a sudden I was getting better. Sure, sure. So, so the brain is a very efficient machine, or processing engine, and you have a lot of data coming in. And some of that data the brain uses and some of the data the brain doesn't use because it's, again, very efficient. So if you make it harder for the brain to do a task, it's going to have to focus more, apply more brain energy to that task, and therefore, if you take away the resistance, the brain gets better at the task. Ah, very interesting. It was interesting because you had, um, well, actually, you have it still up here, and you said that you can actually improve depth perception and, and some certain sensories that are more weak than others, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So, so when it comes to the senses, most people don't know where they're strong or where they're weak. And so what we do is we show them where they're strong and where they're weak compared to a normative population. So if an athlete wants to compare themselves to other athletes, they can do that. And what we then do is say, all right, here's where you're strong, here's where you're weak, and in the areas you're weak, such as perhaps depth perception, like you said, or target capture, which is the ability to dart your eyes around, or eye-hand coordination, we can actually give you software tools to work on those skills and get better so your senses improve. Yeah, very interesting. So you have these glasses, um, you have an app. We do have an app, yep. Okay. Yeah, so we decided that we needed to get beyond just a big screen, and that's great for performance centers or professional teams, colleges. But sometimes you don't want to always have to go to the gym to train your senses. So we deployed an app, which you can get on a, an iOS platform or on Android. Train your senses there. Or you can get the eyewear, and you can get the eyewear either way, and you can train your senses using this. This is something you would do perhaps uh, twice, two or three times a week, 10, 15 minutes and you do it while performing the thing you want to get better at. So let's say you want to get better at basketball. Take shots wearing these. Or if you want to get better with your balance, walk around wearing these, and it'll help you improve your skills. It's very interesting. So this could be useful for athletes or people with brain injuries and different disorders, possibly? Absolutely. And, and it really, if you think about it, if a majority of your brain is doing sensory processing, then there's a lot of applications in how this could be useful. Very true. And what inspired you to get involved in all of this? Very interesting. Well, that's a good question. So the idea of, of improving the brain and the senses is it's not actually a new idea, but the idea of digitizing it and making it available to a large number of people, that's what's sort of new. And so our co-founders uh, were in the sports industry. They were working on this technology, helping elite athletes get better. And we had an opportunity to get some patents and, and actually have some nice portfolio of, of intellectual property to then build a whole product portfolio around which we can then deploy of course to athletes and to the military but then also to the larger population. That's incredible. Well congratulations on your success with the product and um, where can we find you? Can we go to your website or your social media? Yeah, website is a great place to go. It's Synaptic, which is sort of a funny spelling, S-E-N-A-P-T-E-C, synaptic.com. And you can see all about our products and learn more there. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Tiffany Young for ID8TV.